Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy. We're gonna do a part three of air dribbling practice. I've been doing it for over four months now, and I feel like I've seen progress. I feel like I've oh, hit puberty. I'm just kidding. It's been so long, guys. Uh, I know it's been a decent amount of time since I have made a Rocket League video. Regards of air dribbling. So I usually just live stream for no reason. I was live streaming some Vigor Warzone, but here we are with a Rocket League video. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So, we're just going to be going over how I've increases and what are my methods. Flip reset. What are, like, my methods and stuff that, like, I use and stuff. So, yeah, let, let's go over it. So guys first what I do is I'll go into private match every day for 30 minutes Before I even touch my competitive side of the game So yeah, so yeah, I'll show you guys what I do So I'll usually just go up for an air dribble and stuff and usually 90% of the time I will get a good carry into the goal, but when I'm recording I get nervous so And like, when people are like, oh, I'm nervous. Like, you guys don't think that it does something to their gameplay when it really does. Especially me. Like, right now, I am really freaking nervous. Like, because I know not many people are going to see this video. Maybe like 10 or 15. But still, like, it's just, it's just, uh... It's just not easy to do good when you have tens of hundreds of even thousands of people even millions of people watching you it's just it's hard but oh this is bad this is bad this is really bad i had like a backwards carry right there i don't know what that was wasn't that bad it guys, the Finnick that I had, it is no longer in my inventory. I did get scammed for it. But, oh, excuse me, I was taking a drink of water, but I don't really care that much. Finnick was not really a good car for me. I thought it was going to be a beautiful car for me. I thought everything was going to work out beautifully, but it just didn't. I didn't. I, don't, I liked the car and the looks. I liked the looks of it. And I liked everything about it, just the car itself just wasn't uh, all that good like the hitbox people say it's the same as octane but me i definitely feel the same i mean not the same i feel like octane is definitely has a better hitbox than the fennec number one is because when i cucks or pinch i've cucks or pinch over a hundred times easily in each car and just the fennec like whenever it go like it doesn't go anywhere like it literally doesn't like it won't do anything like it'll literally just not even but with the octane that's how i know i'm not doing it wrong is because with the uh, with the octane i'll literally hit perfect almost every single time there's only like 20 out of those 100 times where i messed up on the octane there's like 90 where I messed up with the Finnick. I was messing up with the Finnick horribly. And it wasn't me that was making the errors. It was the car. It was, definitely was not me because I am pretty good at hitting Cuxers uh, with Octane. Uh, because, you know, it's my main car. And plus, it's just, yeah, I just don't think Finnick was right for me. I just don't think it was. I just don't think Finnick was right for me. And you guys may have your guys' reasons, and I just don't think Finnick was all that good. But you guys may think different. Oh, I barely missed a double tap, just whatever. And guys, comment down below if you think I have improved in air dribbling. It's just your guys' opinions. You guys do not have to comment, but I would really appreciate it.
Ground pinch. Oh, dang it. See, guys, what I do is, like, I have trouble hitting flip resets. And I know you guys are like, Z Aiden, why are you going for flip resets? Number one is because I honestly think I'm doing good at just regular air dribbling. I feel like I've mas not mastered it, but I've definitely gotten better over it in the past few weeks. I definitely haven't mastered it, but if this damn ceiling wasn't here, oh my god, I'm going to tell you how many air dribbles would have been banger, bro. Like, that would have been so banger without this stupid freaking ceiling, bro. Like, it's so annoying. The ceiling can be so annoying, dude. See, like, look at that. Like, I hit the flip reset. No problem. And then, I just suck after that. Come on, please just give it to me. See, like, this game is full of dog shit. Like, it's just, like, this game is full of straight-up wet poopity poop. I'm actually quite happy I got that flip reset. I'm gonna watch back this recording before I upload it. Ooh, look at this carry. Flip reset! No! Bro, if there was just, I'm just like, if there wasn't anything in the game, I could probably hit a flip reset. Like, if there was just like nothing, just me and the ball, I would be able to hit flip resets. Like every single time I went for one. Legit, and that's not cap either, because I know how to, like, get a flip reset. I know how, but it's just, like, it's just, like, I don't know. But here, I'll try to go for an air dribble. I might hit it a few times here. Flip reset. <gasps> Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> what was I trying right there? Holy shit. Damn. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. I haven't really in, in like improved too. Uh, I haven't I haven't really improved that much, but I definitely have. Actually, I'm gonna take that back. I definitely have approved because I can hit flip resets now. Well, I can't score them. I can barely even. I can get one though. It's just that it's kind of hard. For me, at least, since I haven't even mastered uh, air dribbling at all. So, yeah, guys, if you guys did go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. And make sure you guys send the like button on a walk. And then forcefully beat it. Like how you're going to beat the like button. Beat it, smash it up. Like how you're going to do when you go on a walk with it. So yeah guys, I want you guys to go to the like button's house. I want you to forcefully beat him and then I'll talk to you later guys. Peace and love, baby.